film some of this piff, man. You get me? Yeah? This is the amnesia haze. You gotta get this shit in England hardly, you know what I mean? You know I make the sort of documentaries, yeah? People don't want to make. I take the camera into places. Get me. The media, the media doesn't want to come here. Yeah, we're with Grandma Charlie, we're live on on Halsden High Street. You know. What, 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 what were you saying about the other night? Yeah, I was a victim of some e extreme racism. Come yeah? keep moving. Keep yeah. Moving. Okay. Okay. Fucking like yeah. Man's down Oxford Street, and basically after stopping an altercation between my boy, who was white, and a black male, while trying to calm the situation down, the Fed swoops on man like. Vultures. Like, but it's normal, isn't it? What, 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 they, what were they accusing you of? They said they suspected us of having stolen property on us. Well, did someone report any stolen property? Yeah, yeah, someone pointed us out. They pointed you out? Apparently. Okay. Allegedly, so. so. So, in your opinion, would you say that racism is... Because people say that racism doesn't exist in Britain. What would you say to those people? That's bullshit, and of course there's racism in Britain, bro. Like, fucking... End of the day, yeah? Just be serious, isn't it, yeah? yeah. It's like... Although white people are the minority in the country, bro, like they still have certain footholds in it. Yeah. And I'm not saying all white people, because obviously, like man around the ends, there's white dudes around the ends. Man's got love for my guns, yeah. Man, it's, it's not a colour thing. It's just obviously, man, know what it is, isn't it? I'm not even going. It's a status it. thing. It's a status thing. You get me? So, see, you see, you see that the police man looking at us. Like, why are you looking at us? Why are you fucking looking at us? Why the fuck? Yeah, fucking hell. I didn't let me in the country, so why the fuck are you looking at me for? Camera me and me and you know. A camera. Hello. Yes mate, how you doing? I'll just tell you why I'm gonna pick chat, you just come in here, okay? Yeah. Yeah, they're all my this is our stuff. Is it alright? Yeah, yeah, this is our stuff that we promote and this is our DVD that we promote and we're, we're, we're bringing them to somewhere, you know? We're going to a video shoot, so we're bringing this to promote. Okay. Alright. So, so this is not anything illegal. You can see my face on here. That's me and this is also me as well. Oh, right, listen. Oh, right, Grandma. Yeah. So you've got more of the CDs in here, do you? I've got loads of things in there. I've got more DVDs. I've got no. I've got a laptop in there as well. All oh, right, no worries. Okay. Are you walking to here? No. Is there anything on your toy you shouldn't have? You asked me that already. Yeah, like, it just skins any cannabis at all? No. Don't worry, we're used to this guy. Trust me. Very used to it, you know. Happens. The camera. Serial number, I don't know. Probably. So, oh, so what, what was this? What was this? Basically, yeah, another attack on my black person, yeah. Okay, <laughs> this is the receipt, yeah. Stopped and searched. Being black on a Monday afternoon. Like, you're not allowed. To be gra grandma, in, 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 in the police's defence, yeah, you should know that it's illegal to be black on a Monday afternoon in public. Just illegal to be yeah. black. You're not, you're, you're, you, you need to be in the designated nigger area, said, otherwise. Yeah. They said they stopped us because they saw us twice. CDs. Twice, but they're doing a patrol, which is a circle. We're walking to Camden. Yeah, they're probably yeah. from Camden, so they're doing the laps. Like obviously, you're gonna see, man, someone who's just walked over fucking five miles <laughs> like, like a cunt. Get one of these, isn't it? Fucking amazing, bro. Hey, right. so what, what, what do you think about this, the beast then? Bro, the beast is in full effect every day, isn't it? Yeah. This is twice in two days, yeah? Man, man just stopped with being black, bro. The end. 
fuck yeah. are you, man? Trying you know, to get usually stuck after my encounters with the police, I'm usually pissed off. Today, I'm very happy because today's theme is about crime and and also the crime of being black. So um, I, I said I said to the policeman, "This is good. For, this is good for my for my documentaries." You know what I mean? Yeah, we got stopped. We got searched. Yeah, didn't have nothing on me. Had no weed. Had no 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 weapons. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing on me. They had nothing on me. Do you know what I mean? So I kn I knew they weren't wanted to look at what I had on me and see if I'd stolen them and shit. But you know what I mean, there's nothing that they could prove. So it's all good. Now on our way, free to commit further crimes. Do you know what I mean? So in all fairness, what these police should have done. If I was them, what I would have done is I would, I would have took us in. You would have took us in Back and I would have beat us to death and I would have got away with it and I would have laughed with all my mates at the pub going, ah, ha, ha, fucking kill two niggas, kill two niggas today, <laughs> as it goes. You know what I mean? So that's what I would have done. But do you know what I mean? Them guys, obviously, they're not doing their job properly. They were polite. They were courteous. You know what I mean? The guy was actually touching my, my dick. He was actually feeling my dick. I know bullshit, yeah. He's feeling, feeling up my dick. So, um, yeah, you could say, you could say today, I've been sexually, sexually violated by another man. I've gone all cold. <laughs> 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 nah, for real, man, for real. I'm, I'm going to, any, any, any incidents I get into today, I'm going to use it as an excuse. I'm going to be like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I might even make a little complaint, you know, say I was, have you ever been sexually assaulted? Oh shit! Ah. Me neither. <laughs> Until today, <laughs> by that officer. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Some Satan has gave me this. What the fuck is this? Well, I just met some guy called Monad. Right? I asked him if he liked hip hop and dubstep, but he said no. Uh, he said, "Do you like breakcore?" I said, yeah, why not? Oh, and, uh, I'll, have have, I'll, have, I'll have a bit of that, I'll tell you, I'll have a bit of that. <laughs> and so uh, he's given me this sticker. He says that he only gives it away for free. So he's given me this sticker for free and he said to me, stick it wherever you want. So I'm going to stick it in this bin over here. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Curse me, you wanker. <laughs> right. no, look, you're not, you're, look, your, your face ain't on the camera. Your face ain't on the camera, man. Phone calls about you the other night, bro. Who had seven phone calls? I did on my radio station. Did you? What did they say? Good stuff. They won't work. For you, bro. Is it? Yeah. Tell them to holler at me. Tell them to holler. What's your face? I'm in business. Place. Yeah. Say Terra Slim. Terra Slim. Terra Slim. The, the, the genre. Not even a, not even an artist. Terra Slim. Terra Slim is a genre. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, they no, look. Um, <laughs> you know what? Eight eight point four radio. <laughs> what eight eight? I went four down in West End, but I hit it hard, bro. 11 o'clock on me. Wait, is what it makes for the vibe? Keep your hyper deep, he's for the vibe. Serious, guy. Just the old one for the long life, man. He's for the vibe. I was like, trouble, yeah, to me. I'm How old is it? 60 now, bro. Bro, Nicky Blackmark is still alive, bro. Bro, Nicky Blackmark is still alive. Bro, Nicky Blackmark is last ever appearance is next week at Brixton Academy. Yeah, you know Mickey Blackmore, get in it. Uh, what's she? Huh? Have you got she? Uh, I don't Take, right, you take this. Mickey Blackmore, his um, last yeah. ever appearance is a this weekend. His last ever. What's he going to die off? Is he going to die after it? No, bro, he's giving up. He's yeah. giving up. He's oh, not playing. I love Mickey Blackmore. See that night? He's auctioning off his decks that night. Yeah. Same, yeah, cool, man. Alright, let's roll, in it, man. Well, he's auctioning off his decks that night. Yeah, yeah. That's cool, but I don't know, bro. Yeah, yes, man. Trust me. You see where? You see where I filmed them, man? Them on the camera. So what happened with the police the other day? I basically Saturday night, yeah. Man had a little drink up at my girl's sister's, but you know they're raining New Year. So we was drinking, getting all night, burning weed, everything, yeah. Sunday come now, you know, man, wake up with a mad hangover. Mm -hmm. We rolled up here. I come out the alleyway with my dog, just put on the lead. I said, big riot van, yeah? I was like, fuck it, let me put my dog on the lead, innit? So they don't travel me up. I walk past two of them. I look in his eyes, blood. Like, he said, oh, your eyes are dilated. Stop there, blood. Like, you being drugged up in the alleyway, blah, blah, blah. He's like, look at him, blood. Does it look like I'm a druggie? I'm out walking my dog with Sunday, blood. What the fuck? They said, oh, we're going to have to take your name and search you, blood. So he searched me, yeah? 
I did, um, a man's face was by my leg, going down my leg, yeah. My dog come up into his face, just about to bite the fed, innit? <laughs> Two of them grabbed my dog, they grabbed me, put me up against the wall. Oh, like, yeah, I... some bullshit, but really, that like, fuck the fed, do the crap, pay the time, bro. Done no. Done no, man. Yeah. Fuck the police. I had no reason to man, just for the fact my eyes are dilated, bro. Yeah, yeah. Come on, if you have a drinking session the night before, you're going to be fucked when you wake up. I, I, I got asked today, yeah? yeah. If the policeman said, have you taken anything? I said, That's their excuse, you? I said, no. And he says, you expect me to believe that? I was like, whoa, like, what, what, what would I have taken? Do you know what I mean? MDMA, oh, ketamine, yeah. do you know what I mean? Okay, I've got an exclusive interview here now. We're with the um, former chairman of a, a top London youth council. Um, who, at the time, he was also one of the most prolific robbers in his area. Um, so basically, we're lucky enough to get him to give us an exclusive interview because we're, we're, we're going to gro the ground level here. We're reporting on the ground level about life in London. Now, um, he's asked to have his identity concealed in case of any possible condemnation or judgment for the acts which he committed in the past but has now turned his back on. So um, I'm going to speak to him. Um, I was going to ask you, you were working in a very respectable youth organisation. You helped steer a lot of youth away from the gang culture, uh, life of crime and things like that. Why at the same time were you participating in you know, street robberies and things like that? Tell, tell us what happened when, when you got arrested. I can't, I can't really go into details because it might be a court case, but I got beaten the fuck up by the police. Yeah. And, um, I think the first one is saying Whoever shoots the police gets my respect. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, what, what's your what's your views on the, on the, um, the law and the police and everything? You know, man. Well, I got a case coming up on the thirty first, right? They've adjourned it like four times, man. Like fucking making a nigga hang on and shit. You know what I mean? Fuck the law, man. Fuck the law. <laughs> That's what I say straight up. Fuck the law, man. I don't give a fuck about these pricks, man. Oh. You know what I say, man. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Either like it or not. Yeah. Oh. Safe. <laughs> you know what, yeah? I've been interviewing a lot of people about the police and whatever experiences people have, the answer is always the same. Fuck the police. 